Naruto, 10 Bleach Villains the Akatsuki would recruit. If the Akatsuki had the chance to recruit from the world of Bleach, they would easily find villains they'd love to join their group. The Naruto franchise is filled with skilled and powerful shinobi, and most of them are extremely loyal to their respective villages. The Akatsuki was a group of ten rogue ninja from several villages who wanted to gather the tailed beasts in order to use them as weapons. The group was feared throughout the ninja world as almost every member was a Kage-level shinobi with some sort of unique ability, and some were even capable of destroying an entire village single-handedly. The Bleach manga gave fans dozens of villains over the course of its 15-year run. Each of these villains, whether they are Soul Reapers, Hollows, or Quincy's, have their own special powers. But some of these powers are far more effective than others. If the Akatsuki had a chance, they would definitely try to recruit a few of them. 10. Zamari Ruros would make capturing Jinchuriki much simpler. Bleach is filled with villains who are not really that strong, but Zamari Ruros is one of the strongest hollows in the series. When the seventh Espada releases his Resurrection, 58 eyes appear throughout his body, and when he targets someone with one of his gazes, a sun-shaped tattoo will appear on them. If the tattoo appears on a limb, Zamari can control it, but if it appears on the target's head, he's able to control their entire body. The Akatsuki would value such an ability because this form of mind control would stop Jinchuriki from putting up a fight. Which would make capturing them much easier. 9. Aizen's hypnosis powers would allow the Akatsuki to take control without the tailed beasts. It was fairly obvious from the start that Aizen was evil, and when the truth came to light. It became clear that he was somewhat overpowered. Two, The Akatsuki has a fair amount of Genjutsu prowess thanks to Itachi and Abido's Sharingan, but Aizen's ability surpasses theirs because he can leave it active indefinitely. His Zanpakuto's ability is complete hypnosis, and it allows him to take control of all five of a person's senses. He can choose to use this ability on a single target or on multiple people at once. If the Akatsuki recruited Aizen, he could use this ability to help the organization take control of the ninja world by hypnotizing the feudal lords into giving them control of all their lands. 8. Bambietta Basturbine could easily replace Daidara. Daidara serves as the Akatsuki's explosives expert because he can mold his explosive chakra into clay creatures. But his chakra isn't limitless. And his clay explosives can be stopped by lightning-style attacks. Bambietta is a stern ritter who possesses a power called the Explode which allows her to create bombs out of literally anything. Spirit particles are everywhere, and when Bambietta uses her ability, anything these particles come into contact with become bombs. She doesn't even need to physically target anything to create an explosion which means that she has omnidirectional attacks that are impossible to predict or block. 7. Tsukishima's full brain would allow anyone to trust him. The Lost Substitute Shinigami arc feels like a filler arc, but it gave fans a new villain named Tsukishima. This foolbringer possesses an ability called Book of the End that allows him to literally insert himself into the memories of anyone he cuts with his sword. This doesn't sound like a powerful ability, but the Akatsuki could use it to further their goals. Tsukishima could go into the memories of each Jinchuriki to make them think he was their only real friend. Then use that fake trust to lead them straight into the Akatsuki's clutches. 6. Pranita's ability to evolve would make it the Akatsuki's strongest living weapon. Pranita is one of the strongest stern ritter and that is because it's actually the left hand of the Soul King. The being who rules over all of Soul society. Under normal circumstances, the Akatsuki would probably not recruit a living hand, but Pranita's ability to evolve would make it the organization's strongest living weapon. Pranita evolves by consuming and absorbing organic matter, gaining that being's abilities and characteristics. 
If it consumes any portion of a tailed beast, it could become just as powerful as one. And if its body gets destroyed, it can reconstruct itself after a short period of time. 5. Tozen's Creed Would Speak to Pain Tozen is one of Bleach's most respected villains, he is a powerful soul reaper with a scary ability. His Zanpakuto's Shirkai knocks people unconscious by creating high-pitched tones. And his Bankai creates a dome which eliminates every sense except for touch. The Akatsuki could do a lot with Tozen's abilities, but Pain would particularly want to recruit him because he wishes to create a peaceful and just world by taking the path with the least amount of bloodshed. With that said, Tozen is willing to let many people die to save the majority of the world from pain and injustice. 4. Nianzal Wizal's ability to block attacks would be useful in team fighting. Nianzal Wizal may not be the strongest stern ridder, but he does possess an ability that the Akatsuki would find quite useful. Especially during team fights. His power is called the wind, and it allows him to deflect any attacks he chooses by simply pushing them to the side. He can use this ability for himself. But he can also use it for an ally Nianzal would be able to deflect any kunai or ninjutsu that gets thrown at him or his partner, and they could to cut through enemy shinobi without hesitation. He can also use the wind on pure instinct alone, which makes surprise attacks meaningless. 3. Sailoporo Granza's Resurrection turns him into a much smarter Haydn. With the exception of Haydn, every Akatsuki member is highly intelligent. If the group recruited Sailoporo Grands, they would have a literal genius at their disposal. The eighth Espada is a narcissistic scientist, and when he releases his Zanpakuto, he basically becomes a much smarter version of Haydn. Haydn kills his enemies by turning himself into a living voodoo doll, but Sailoporo creates actual voodoo dolls of his opponents when he grabs them with the wings produced by his resurrection. If he harms the doll in any way, the original sustains the same damage. Haydn also benefits from being immortal, but Sailoporo can resurrect himself by touching his opponent and implanting a portion of himself inside their body. 2. Barragan's aging powers would be an asset. Barragan is the second Espada and one of the only characters in Bleach who can defeat every single member of the Akatsuki. Barragan represents old age. And in his normal form, he has the ability to slow down time around his body. He can also accelerate the aging process of anything he touches. When he releases his Zanpakuto, Barragan's powers amplify to the point that anything near him rapidly ages until it turns to dust, and he can release a miasma which causes anything it touches to decay in moments. The Akatsuki would actively seek out Barragan because his power completely counters Taijutsu and Ninjutsu, since melee and ranged attacks would never be able to reach him. 1. The Akatsuki could do literally anything with Gremi's powers. A lot of Bleach fans believe that the Sternritter ruined the series because some of them possess abilities that are truly overpowered. Gremi's power is called the Visionary, and it allows him to turn anything in his imagination into reality. If the Akatsuki were able to recruit Gremi, they could ask him to imagine that all the tailed beasts were sealed within the ghetto statue from the beginning. He could also imagine that every member was immune to every form of jutsu, guaranteeing the Akatsuki's victory in every battle. 